Hello everyone, wherever you are in the world, welcome to Audacious Devotionals. My name is John and I'm the East Area Pastor for Audacious and it's a delight to be able to welcome you to this devotion. I hope you and yours are well. Um, my wife and I help run the East Region and my wife Julie loves a good walk. She loves nothing better than to get her walking shoes on and it doesn't really matter about what the weather is like outside with her. It could be sunshine, it could be rain, it could be hail, it could be snow. She just loves to get out there and have a good walk. And many's the time when we have set out on our travels and she's got an end point in mind. And then all of a sudden we might reach the end point and she says, just a little further, just a few minutes more much the frustration of me and my children who sometimes walk on with her quite reluctantly and sometimes we've insisted on turning back. I'm much more of a fa a fair weather walker myself. Um, if the sun's out and it's warm, I'll probably do it. But if the weather's not very good outside, then I probably won't. But what has always struck me with our walks is the quality of conversation as we walk and chat together or just be together. Those moments are relationship building moments, just walking together with people that we love, just being in their company and enjoying that. Our relationships are indeed strengthened, I think, as we walk together. God's a walker, isn't he? God's a walker. And um, this passage that I've chosen for today's um, devotion is from Genesis 3, verse 8. And it tells us this. They, and that's Adam and Eve, the they are Adam and Eve, heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees in the garden. Now, of course, if you know the story, you'll know the reason they were hiding. It's because they had disobeyed God. They have they had eaten from the one tree, the one tree in the whole Garden of Eden, which God had said to stay away from, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. They had eaten the fruit from that tree, and because of that, their relationship with God had been um, broken and all of a sudden this God who they would have been walking with normally they were now hiding from him in shame now what this verse tells us I think is that God is a walker he was in the habit of walking creator and created in the cool of the day imagine the conversations that Adam and Eve must have had with their creator before they blotted their copybook. Imagine walking through the beauty of the Garden of Eden, taking in the sights, the sounds, the smells of this beautiful handiwork of Almighty God. And of course, Adam and Eve being the pinnacle of that creation, God loved nothing more than to spend time with them, to walk with them, to talk with them, and just to be with them because he wanted that all right from the start. It's amazing when you think of that, the conversations they must have had, just being in each other's company and building that precious relationship. Of course, their disobedience spoilt that relationship. And uh, when they ate the fruit, that relationship between God and man was broken but praise Jesus that we sit here and stand here today knowing that Jesus Christ made that way through his sacrifice on the cross and um, he restored that relationship with God that was always intended from the very beginning. If you're reading this devotion or listening to me talk and you don't know yet Jesus Christ for yourself. If you are walking and having that relationship with your Saviour, 
then let me encourage you to go to www.audaciouschurch.com forward slash Jesus and brace yourself for the best news ever. God's intention was right from the start, was to have walking partners. He, Of course, he could have got on with it by himself. He's almighty God. He's all sufficient. He doesn't need anyone or anything to function. But mysteriously, this creator of the universe craves a relationship with the pinnacle of his creation. And that's you and me. And sadly, too often, I allow God just to walk alone, choosing distraction, other priorities, my feelings or following the calling of my sinful nature. I too often leave him walking alone. But through it all, as he walks forward, God is always calling me to join him, always calling you, whispering to you to come alongside and to spend some time with him, knowing that a few uninterrupted minutes in his presence can often be the answer and the antidote to the turmoil and frustration that I often feel. Nicky Gumbel, who's the vicar of Holy Trinity Church in Brompton and the man behind the um, Alpha Course phenomenon, it's his habit to spend time in his local park in the morning, just him and his saviour walking together, listening to each other, just being with each other. And that sets him up for the day. I'm filming this from our caravan near Lytham. And one of my favourite parts of the day is the evening when the sun is setting. It's usually, usually quite warm and it's lovely to be able to walk and to listen to nature, and to see the handiwork of God, and just to be aware of the fact that he is beside me, he's within me, and he's all around me. Isn't that a fantastic thought, that God is with us everywhere we go, and um, too often, or sadly, I leave him walking alone. So what or where is your cool of the day? moment. Let me encourage you in this season as, as a church we think about building relationships to intentionally put in your diary um, to get out there with God, just you and him, to walk with him, to talk with him and do that intentionally, make it part of your day. Um, and I know that as you walk with God, as you hear from God, as you talk with God, I know that he's going to meet you in a fantastic and life-changing way. Um, famously, in, in Exodus 33, verse 13, um, God spoke to Moses face to face as a man speaks to his friend. And as a result, Moses' face glowed because he'd been in the presence of God. So let me encourage you today, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, however busy you are, whatever your circumstances might be, to get out there. Don't keep God waiting. Don't let him walk alone. He has designed it so that you have a walking partner and your walking partner is almighty God. So let me encourage you today and this summer to get out there with him and enjoy the journey. Every blessing, wherever you are, have a lovely day.